that in adult men, study after study, suggests that the levels of these chemicals, the perfluoroalkyl substances in particular, as well as the phthalates, the chemicals that make plastic softer, used in vinyl food wraps and other sorts of food packaging. They're associated with decreases in sperm count as well as quality of sperm count, which is important for fertility. The fact that you have this trend line for about 70 years and it's not slowing down. What's frightening to me is that you would have expected if this problem had gone away and not gotten worse, that you would have seen a flattening. And the fact that you're seeing a further decline really raises concerns about additional risks coming in since the decline from the 40s to about the 70s. If I draw that line out, and one has to be really careful about drawing that line out because it's projecting the future, that would suggest that in 2040, four in five men will be infertile. Now that's a frightening thought just from the perspective of being able to sustain the human population. Those phthalates are chemicals that antagonize the male sex hormone. They also reprogram how our genes are expressed that are crucial for lipid and carbohydrate metabolism. So imagine you've had a healthy protein meal, you had a good workout, thinking you're gonna get an extra little girth on that bicep. The reality is that the phthalates can scramble your signal such that it ends up going into your midsection as extra fat or carbohydrates. 